The Cutting Edge Warbond has just dropped and you need to brace yourselves as this will provide the ultimate gear upgrade. Welcome to a new video where we're diving into the latest Warbond on Helldivers 2 called Cutting Edge. We'll be going into the latest weapons, armor sets and other goodies so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you enjoyed the video because if you don't then I'm just gonna go kill myself. Anywho, the Cutting Edge Warbond comes with four new energy based weapons. Three capes, three armor sets, a new grenade and a variety of other goodies like player cards and emotes so let's break it down, break it down, break it down. okay that, that that's enough of that hell divers 2 developers arrowhead have been cooking lately and let me tell you i am excited for this warbond diving straight into the new weapons in this warbond we got the las 16 sickle which is a new rifle that shoots lasers in bursts Instead of needing to reload like I always do because I'm just a spray and pray kind of guy, you'll instead have to just make sure that this doesn't overheat. Along with the sickle, we got the SG8P Punisher Plasma in- fuck me, could they have made this any harder to pronounce? Holy shit. It's a Punisher shotgun that shoots plasma instead of bullets. While it's described as a shotgun, it appears to fire more like a grenade launcher. I feel like this weapon's going to become really useful in those situations where there's an area with loads of enemies and you want to hang back a bit and then shoot all of them from far away. I feel I feel like this is going to become really useful. Maybe not something that everyone in the team will use, but if one player out of the four has this, then that would become really useful in my opinion. But what do I know? I'm a fucking idiot. Um, next, we got the Arc 12 Blitzer. Again, this is a shotgun that shoots lightning at targets and appears to arc between them. Now, if I'm perfectly honest, I think this is probably going to become my new main weapon. Are you really telling me you don't want to walk around the map looking like fucking Palpatine shooting your enemies? No? Well, you're wrong. That is what you want to do. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's what I want to do. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a nerd. Um, next, we got the LAS-7 Dagger, which is a laser pistol, which... I mean, it isn't as fancy as the other weapons that have been in this list so far, but it's still a pistol that shoots a sustained laser. Again, this won't require ammo. It's a laser pistol that fires a continuous beam. You just, you can't overheat it and you do need to change your batteries. But coming from someone that just wastes ammo permanently and I always feel like I have none. I don't know what it is every single mission. I just feel like I run out of ammo at least 10 times. So I feel like I probably will start heading towards these energy based weapons where I don't have another thing to worry about, which is obviously trying trying to get ammo down and resupplies and all that shite. Very excited to see all these energy weapons added to the game and it just makes me more excited for what they're going to add in future as well. So with weapons like these, completing missions is just going to be so much easier in my opinion and also you can unlock the G23 stun grenade for even more tactical options. Moving on to the armor now, like I said before, we've got three new armor sets. We got the EX-03 Prototype 3, which includes a rubber underlayer for insulation, which is handy really as the prototype's wires operate at a shocking 400,000 volts and let's face it, being electrocuted midway through an already difficult mission might just push me over the edge and drive me to full-on insanity. Alongside that, we got the EX-16 Prototype 16 and the EX-00 Prototype X. Very cool additions to the game, but along with them, we've got new capes as well. So you can accessorize your armor with three new capes, each with its own style and flair. And I'm going to throw an opinion in here. What if, in future, Arrowhead, the developer, they added the ability to change the color scheme of whether it's the whole piece of armor and cape or just certain parts of the armor or cape? just so that you can get different capes and different pieces of armor, different helmets and this, that and the other and match them together so that they actually look the same, like visually. Because I might like a certain helmet and a certain cape, but then the completely different color schemes so my character just looks a bit weird. What if they added the ability to change the colors of these things? Is that something that you guys would want to see in the game? Personally, I think it would be a cool addition, but only if they did it in the right way. The only thing that I can think of as like a downfall of them adding this is then every player running round in like full pink armor not that there's anything wrong with your favorite color being pink but do we really want hell divers to become another call of duty where the camos and the colors and everything else deviates from the realism of the actual game not that i'm saying in real life i go around and kill robots and bugs but i think you get what i'm trying to say so let me know in the comments what you guys think about that idea who knows they might take it on board yeah, like any of the developers are watching this video. Anyway, um, there is also a few new emotes and matching player cards. But all in all, I think this is a pretty good warbond. Little side note, according to a recent leak, there also could be more weapons and suits coming to Helldivers 2, possibly with the next update, other than the ones that have been mentioned in this video. So that is something to look forward to. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the cutting edge warbond that's just been released. Let me know in the comments. And like I said before, make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell 
if you want to be notified for any future videos regarding Helldivers 2 leaks and updates. See you in the next video.